What have your ears heard, Leliana? Anything new we don't already know about? No, nothing. Let us begin. Let's see what we have. The Inquisition cannot remain a person. If you can't prove, it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked her life to slow the magic of the bridge. Sir Trevelyan, may I present the Marquis Durelion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. How's Durelion lend Justinia these lands for pilgrimage? This Inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. This is the first I've heard of Haven having an owner outside the Chantry. My wife, Lady Machin of Denver, has claimed to Haven by ancient treaty with the monarchs of Ferelda. We were honored to lend its use to Divine Justinia. She is a... She was a woman of supreme merit. I will not let an upstart order remain on her holy grounds. Demons are pouring from the sky, and you're worried about land claims. Haven is the Durelion's rightful property. Has Empress Helene officially acknowledged your possession of Haven? I was unaware her Imperial Majesty had conferred with Ferenin's monarchs on this matter. The Empress... ...has not yet had the opportunity to do so. <sighs> we face a dark time, Your Grace. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all... ...no matter how strange they might seem. I'll think on it, Lady Montillier. The Inquisition might stay in the meanwhile. Do the Durelions actually have a claim on this place? His Grace's position is not so strong as he presents it. Despite their Ferelden relations, the Durelions are Orlesian. 
If the Marquis wishes to claim Haven, Empress Selene must negotiate with the Ferelden on his behalf. Her current concerns are a bit larger than minor property disputes. His grace was all bluster then. Even should he leave, the Marquis will share his thoughts on us upon his return to Battle Royale. Every guest we receive, and we will receive them, will spread the Inquisition's story. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. What sort of dealings have you had with nobility? For some years, I was the royally appointed court ambassador from Antiva to Orlais. The nobility of Thedas is a rather singular sphere. Those I'm not acquainted with, I know through reputation. May I ask, what brought you to work for the Inquisition? Sister Leliana approached me. We've been acquainted for quite some time. For better or worse, being the Inquisition's diplomat has become as interesting as she promised. The Inquisition is lucky to have you as an advocate, Lady Montillier. Thank you. Let us hope so. Thedas's politics have become agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. Good day to you. Tell me how you came to work for the Inquisition again. I've been considering leaving my post in Antiva for a new challenge when Leliana recruited me. There's such unrest in Thedas, and the Inquisition seems a promising method to stop it. It's to everyone's benefit if we prevent the Mage Templar conflict from spreading further. So was it the prospect of stability that drew you here? The full impact of the Mage Rebellion has yet to be felt. And that was before the death of the Divine. The violence must be curbed before we see it turn to full-scale war. I can only imagine the bloodshed if it escalates further. I'm afraid history holds many examples of what will happen if it does. What exactly does your job entail? I meet with ambassadors from various factions and countries, and cement alliances with them. We are a young cause. Diplomacy is essential to our credibility. Then you speak for the Inquisition with these nobles? I do. Someone must foster goodwill on our behalf, as well as prevent controversy as news of us spreads. How heavily are our actions scrutinized? Make no mistake, every noble house, every throne, is waiting to see what the Inquisition does next. Many are willing to pledge support, if offers are made in just the right fashion. I intend to see that they are. I'd swear our families have met before. Perhaps. Everyone of distinction in the Free Marches attends Lady Trevelyan's summer balls. Great Aunt Lucille always did love a party. I don't recall seeing you at any of them. Attend one ball, and you'll fend off invites for a dozen more. That reminds me. The Herald of Andraste has received several invitations from the curious. To parties? How many am I getting? Only 17 this month, I'm afraid. What did you do before coming here? I had the great honor of serving Antiva's crown as ambassador to Orlais. I'm also first in line to become the head of House Montillier, though my siblings attend to our mercantile affairs. How strong are your past loyalties? I would never have given up my position if I did not intend to fully commit to the Inquisition. We cannot fall back on borders. Antiva is as threatened as any country by the rebellions. If anything, the alliances I forged there may help our current cause. Do you think the Inquisition will continue after we seal the breach? 
If we prove ourselves by healing the breach, people may turn to us for other things. Protection, counsel, justice. The Inquisition offered these once to those in need. What business are the Montilliers in, exactly? We began as merchants. My ancestors founded the first trade routes to Rivain. We once sent entire fleets across the Waking Sea. But not anymore? Ah, no. Uh, these days, our vessels are a touch more modest. Tell me, do you believe I was saved by Andraste at the Temple of Sacred Ashes? I should much like to believe so, Your Worship. The miracles Andraste performed were so long ago, they're difficult to picture. If it were truly her and the fate who saved you, well, in any case, many already believe you walk in the Maker's Light. Let's speak later. Farewell. Good day to you. How do you and Liliana know each other? We moved through similar circles in Norlay. I believe we actually met in Val Royale. Leliana was quite an accomplished player of the game by then. What exactly do you mean when you say the game? Ah, forgive me. The game refers to the slow duels of influence among the noble and powerful of Orlais. It's a rather light-hearted name for the matter, but our legions are fond of playful touches. What do the people make of us? Despite our fame, we're low on steadfast allies. We must aim for more. Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? Sir Griffith of Denerim, a most distinguished knight of the realm. He's defeated darkspawn, slain demons, chased down abominations. Just don't ask him about it over dinner. He spares no detail. You're the Herald. Or, well, the one they're calling the Herald, anyway. It's odd to see them accepting a mage as their hero. First, we're too dangerous to let out of the circles. And then we're apostate rebels. But they seem to like you. My name is Maneve. I research demons and other creatures. Seeker, Pentagast, and I use what I find to help the soldiers fight them. You said you were a mage? No, just an apprentice. I was a year or so for my harrowing, at least. The enchanters were being kind. I was never very good at magic. I've got just enough talent to be a danger to other people. But when the mages rebelled, people like me had nowhere to go. The Templars would have killed us. Luckily, Seeker Pentagast took me in. Along with the Tranquil, I was protected. You said that you were keeping some of the Tranquil safe? Yes. The mages took some of them when my circle rebelled. The rest were forgotten. You know how the Circle Mages saw the Tranquil. They're just there to enchant items and keep the floors clean. They don't have any emotions. They can barely take care of themselves. Can't defend themselves at all. It's a shame. I like them better than most people. That's an unusual statement. They're polite. They don't bother you if they don't need something. When they study, they have a focus no normal person could ever match. But the Templars, even some of the mages, mistreated them just because they could. The Tranquil never fought back. If not for that, I... I don't know. Doesn't really matter now. I'm surprised that even an apprentice mage wouldn't join the rebellion. I don't like using magic to fight. I'm not good at it either. I like studying. I like performing rituals that helped us unlock the secrets of the Vale. I liked having the Templars around to keep us safe. The Templars made me feel a lot of things, but never safe. You have not lived my life. I was born into a Dalish clan. I lived there until my magic manifested. The Dalish cannot risk having too many mages in one clan. And I was one more than they could bear. They gave me a pack and sent me into the woods to find my own life. 
I was seven years old. I'm so sorry. I stumbled into a village, starving and cold, a few weeks later. I started using magic to scare predators away. The villagers saw me make fire in my fist. They were terrified and wanted to kill me. Templars saved me from them. They gave me food and clothes and took me to the circle. I've seen what life is like without the Templars, and I want no part of it. I just want to study. You said Cassandra has you researching creatures. Yes. If you find anything interesting in your travels, I'd appreciate you bringing it to me. I may be able to find some weakness our soldiers can exploit when fighting various creatures. But at the least, some materials are useful for making potions or gear for the Inquisition. Why did you decide to research dangerous creatures? I like the outdoors. The idea of the outdoors, anyway. When some monster is coming at you, glowing eyes and burning claws, it's terrifying. But once you know how it works, you can deal with it. It's just another part of the world. So much of this world is only frightening because we don't understand it. I found something the demons left behind. Can you use it? Yes, that's very helpful. Just leave it there, and the Tranquil and I will examine it. We will study that. If you find anything, please bring it in. 